Agriculture. Since the beginning of history, it's been considered to be the backbone of all nations. This is especially true of Caribbean nations, where the export of agricultural products has been the lifeblood of these island countries' economies. But times have changed, and with it, so have many factors affecting the agricultural industry. Changing climates focuses on newer, emerging industries such as tourism and technology have caused agriculture to take a back seat. With attentions turned away from agriculture, it has become easy for archaic farming and animal husbandry practices to continue unchecked. Practices that could be potentially harmful to a nation's environment, negatively impacting food security and economy. The GIZ's Caribbean Aquaterrestrial Solutions Program recognizes the need for a newer, more ecologically friendly approach. One that will ensure that a healthy production base will be sustained for future generations. From November 3rd to the 8th, GIZ, with partner organizations CARFA and the Bern University of Applied Sciences, coordinated a regional Caribbean workshop and training session for agricultural extension officers and representatives from related agencies. The topic? Sustainable Agriculture. The workshop was a pilot project for agricultural extension services in the Caribbean. Five Caribbean countries participated in the six-day exercise. Dominica and St. Vincent, St. Lucia, Jamaica, and Grenada, where the workshop was held. The permanent secretary in the Grenadian Ministry of Agriculture, Marina Jessamy, opened the workshop, stressing the need to adopt new, sustainable practices throughout the Caribbean. I believe that you will learn something new. When we look at what happened in the Caribbean in the 50s, in the 60s, in the 70s, in the 80s, now we're in 2014, we cannot go back to the old ways. We can learn from it and move on. We are trying to introduce the concept of sustainable agriculture that goes beyond just traditional farming practices. Critical in that process is the extension division of the Ministry of Agriculture and therefore extension officers. Sustainable agriculture is an effort that requires all of us to think differently, to act differently, because building resilience in our farming community requires that they do things differently. So the extension officers their role is in helping farmers to un understand the various technologies they could use to ensure that they apply good agriculture practices and at the same time being very cognizant about the effects and the impacts of climate change. The first three days were dedicated to sensitizing the extension officers and agency reps on the many facets and factors that affect sustainability of a farm. Uh, it will be wonderful if the conventional agriculture could get more sustainable. Just changing a little bit, being aware of the resources. How could we improve being more resource efficiency? How could we be sure to be more social equitable? How could we guarantee to be more productive in a sustainable way? The issue with sustainable agriculture is that often people have a picture in mind. What is sustainable agriculture? Some say it's organic agriculture. Some say it's only conservation agriculture because conservation agriculture uh, doesn't use the plow. So you have a better protection against erosion. My view on, on sustainable agriculture is not that of a particular production system. It's more to see in a, yeah, as much as possible objective way um, to define indicators for sustainability and then look how each of these production systems, conventional conservation agriculture, organic agriculture, can be improved with regard to sustainability. They are slow or big, so the bigger it is, the important this sector is. Modules covered water, soil and more and also included an introduction to a tool that would enable extension officers to help farmers improve the sustainability of their livelihood. It's called RISE. RISE stands for Response Inducing Sustainability Evaluation. 
It has been developed at the Bern University of Applied Sciences in 1999, so 15 years ago, and it has continuously been further developed. It has been used so far in about 45 countries around the world in very different environments. In the Caribbean context, it's possible to use rice for evaluation the situation of the farmers at a specific island to get information for the farmer himself but also for the administration level. Chris trained extension officers in using the RISE computer program which tabulates answers to questions designed to evaluate a farm's holistic level of sustainability. These are the indicators that the assessment looks at and the extension officer or the rice um, advisor asks different questions in the part of soil use, farm management, economic viability, quality of life, working conditions of the farmers and the farm labour, biodiversity, plant protection, energy climate, water use, nutrient flows and animal husbandry. And then you can take all the data offline and then you can go to the field, make all the interview on the farm. Uh -huh. And then you come back and then you synchronize your data to a server. The program analyzes variables in these areas, then presents the analyzed results into a polygon shape. This is called a summary sustainability polygon. The closer a point is to the center of the circle, the more need for improvement is required in that area. And then we have an overall um, result, how the farm performs in the view of sustainability. The extension officers then had a chance to put their newfound knowledge into practice when they went out to several local farms to conduct their own rise analyses and delivered feedback to the farmers. Um, they are here to guide me and I've seen um, some of the change in terms of the climate change and uh, to know from their experience what is it that they are in, 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 in terms of change to, to to actually change themselves for the change in time. What they would recommend from based on what I see on my farm, what direction I should take, should I continue what I'm doing here, do I have a good practice, uh, you see some of my limitations, what do you recommend in terms of that I do. And I'm looking for the result of the, of the, of the visit here to make some, some changes on my farm. The workshop, however, is just the start for the extension officers. They will have to complete five farm evaluations in their home countries before they can apply for official RISE certification. Katz trusts that the extension officers will be inspired by the training to become RISE certified, which eventually will give rise to sustainable agricultural practices that can be implemented at farming and policy levels. Our objective is that we have two certified RISE advisors per country, plus ICA um, being available as uh, RISE advisors in the region. There is danger in taking our environment's well-being for granted. Like humans, ecosystems need equal amounts of exercise and rest. The sooner farmers and governments identify nature's needs and take steps to address and rectify issues, the more of a chance we have of ensuring that our children and their children will have a land capable of producing everything a nation needs. And therefore it is very important that the extension offices go out Speak to the farming community, ensure that the right knowledge is transferred, ensure that the right technology is transferred to farmers. RISE will help keep them on track. Only then will agriculture be able to make its contribution to the economies of the Caribbean islands.